Welcome everyone to the first ever Think Iowa. My name is <laughs> My name is Jeff Wood, and I'm here with Jeff Slobotsky. And we are in a building called the Temple for Performing Arts. You all know you're in Des Moines, Iowa. This building is kind of an awesome place here. As you can see all around you, it's kind of an intersection between 100-year-old classic architecture and you know really hip technology on the stage. Uh, for the rest of the day, we're going to be talking about a little different intersection, and that one between startups and corporations. Uh, we couldn't have accomplished this uh, without an amazing group of sponsors. And Jeff, you want to talk about them? Absolutely. So we'd like to thank the Kauffman Foundation, who are longtime partners and supporters of the work at Silicon Prairie News we've done. Uh, also, Microsoft BizSpark, who I know a couple of guys just rolled in this morning from Chicago. So thank you to BizSpark as well. Again, uh, multi-year supporter and sponsor of everything we're doing at Silicon Prairie News. Uh, also, Quova, they're an IP geolocation service powering businesses large and small. Uh, around the globe based out of Silicon Valley. And then Des Moines' own Principal Financial Group, who today is celebrating their 10th anniversary in the New York Stock Exchange. So that's uh, our, some of our top premier sponsors, which we're thankful yeah, for. Yeah, absolutely. And also the Business Innovation Zone, thank you for your sponsorship. Twilio, Pioneer Hybrid, and T8 Webware, who sponsored the opening party last night. Did everybody have a good time there? <laughs> everybody a little kind slow of. because you had a good time there? Is that okay? <laughs> Uh, and then also the Greater Des Moines Partnership. Meg Fitz and her team have really helped us with this, not only monetarily, but getting to know the established corporation side of the city and kind of network into the big companies here that we don't always see from the startup perspective at Silicon Prairie News. Absolutely. I'd also like to thank uh, Performance Marketing and Shift. So their team was the, uh, the folks that did the amazing branding, identity, and a lot of the visual pieces that you see, both on the site and then around the space today. So if you see those guys out, make sure to, uh, to thank them as well. Uh, most important, we're going to thank more sponsors throughout the day, but I think the biggest thing that we want, if you see uh, these folks, the companies and representatives, please, please, please tell them thank you, uh, how much their support, not only monetarily, but just uh, you know, going to bat for what we're doing at Think Iowa and Silicon Prairie News, what that means to us. So please tell them thank you when you see them out and about. Uh, guys, Think Iowa is more than just a two-day event. It's actually one part of what's really become a multi-year project uh, that you and Dusty started way back in 2008 um, to highlight innovation and entrepreneurship in this part of the country and showcase it not only here to our neighbors and friends, but to people all around the world. At Silicon Prairie News, which is our organization, the group behind this, we're working on this you know, every day. We're uh, thinking big about the ideas, the type of things you're going to hear today, and sharing them, and really hoping that what we can do is, uh, along with all of you, move the community forward and, and really move our nation forward. Absolutely. And we say a lot, too, at Silicon Prairie News, so we're not just about events, and we're not just about news. News is in the title. But really what we're trying to do is change an ecosystem, change an environment, change a culture. And the way that we think that we do that is by focusing on assets like people, right? So the resources, everybody together in the room, uh, you are what makes the community, and we're excited to be a part of you. Uh, essentially what we're doing is just serving as a mouthpiece for the great work and the great efforts that you guys are pushing forward every single day. Uh, we're committed for the long term, too. So yes, we've had, you know, we've been running Silicon Prairie News for three years, a couple years of Big Omaha, the first year of Think Iowa. But if you look at the long term kind of scale and what we're trying to do to influence change, this is a 10, 15, 20 year slog for us. So, we're in for the long haul, and we hope you guys are as well, to change this region of the country. Um, at the end of the day, we're really trying to challenge the community to think big, to really think what's possible, and then connect those assets and those resources to make those things happen. Uh, we're blessed with amaz amazing resources, amazing uh, talent, intellect, financial capital here in our region. So essentially, at the end of the day, if we can push forward on connecting all these pieces over the course of the next 5, 10, 15 years, we're going to be in an even better place to live. So. Yeah, and, and sometimes we don't give enough credit to the people that are doing that Absolutely. every day, especially the people on our team that, that make this happen. So Danny Schreiber, Brittany Masio, Michael Stacy, Dusty Davidson, that's the rest of our team. If you guys could all stand up wherever you are, and let's give those guys a round of applause. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. We also have an amazing team of contributors that you'll see today. Uh, Royce, Royce is getting started right now. They're, they'll be blogging all throughout the event. Um, and I think that is about, should we get started? I think so. All right, well, I'd like to introduce our MC today. His name is Matthew.